Auto CRM. How to use Auto CRM. Hi guys, welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be telling you how you can use Auto CRM. So having said that, let's just jump into the video. So what is Auto CRM? So for those of you who don't know, Auto CRM is a one platform for all of your business needs so as you can see if we scroll down you've got accounting knowledge you've got science you've got crm studio subscriptions you've got timesheets rentals point of sale this so basically anything that you can think of auto has it and over here you can see it says start for free so we can go ahead and start for free there is a pricing plan but we'll get into that later if we click on apps you can see all the applications that they provide so in finance they've got accounting invoicing expenses signs in sales they've got crm sales point of sales shop point of sales restaurant subscriptions rental social marketing email marketing sms marketing so we've got a bunch of stuff in auto so let's get into it so since we are doing a video on crm we are going to be focused Focusing on CRM and CRM only. So let's get into it. So we're going to click on CRM and give it a couple of seconds. And now here we go. Sales teams for good. So this is the CRM, right? So let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to click on start now over here. Uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the demo over here. You can see some of the integrations that they provide with. So they've got email, live chat, SMS, wipe, and pretty cool stuff. So let's go ahead and click on start now. It's free. And we should be good to go and over here you can sign up by entering in your first and last name your email the company name the company size and interest and you should be good to go so this is auto crm this is what we are accessing and you can see right here they'll tell you that they've sent you an activation email and you've got three hours to go ahead and verify it so right here this is the crm here we go it's ready to boost so i'm just simply going to go ahead and verify my email address confirm my password and we should be good to go and then you can go ahead and invite your colleagues so you can add their names over here and then emails over here and then you can send invites if you want but we'll skip this for now and we should be good to go and we'll click on this and go to our crm database and then we can go ahead and go into our crm because we are ready everything's done and here we go so as you can see this is our dashboard this is our pipeline actually and here we can go ahead and create opportunities to start playing around with our pipeline right we can create new leads generate leads add new customers right whether we are qualified their propositions they're one or not or they're staged and we have the crm over here if you click over here this is the whole options we've got discussions over here calendar contacts dashboards apps and settings so if you click on dashboard I'm gonna go ahead and give you all the data from the previous i don't know how many days over here for the last month at least over here as you can see and you can see right here this is a demo data that they're giving up i believe they're giving us i believe so that we can see how it would you know look like these are going to be leads over here this is the pipeline right here so as you can see we've got sales we've got pre-sales and yeah as you can see right here expected to close over here and yeah this is the expected revenue we're down by 24 percent, but the closing is up by 13 percent since the last per month but yeah so this is the dashboard if you click on dashboards this is that over here if you click on configure and go to the dashboards you can go ahead and configure all of these right here so we've got human resources we select human resources we can add it over here we can add the data over there websites over here marketing and everything right so this was the dashboard right if we click on apps over here these are all the applications that are available so we can see that odo has a lot of applications so these are all different well categories right here so there's like a total of i believe i don't know 50 something right here applications that we can go ahead and install just on odo so it's a complete application like i said it's a one-stop shop for everything so keep that in mind and right here we have discussions here you will get all of the discussions from your team members you've got to have your inboxes start messages administrators general you know conversations are going to be over here you got your calendar over here here you can go ahead and mark specific events like meetings and such not and you can go ahead and see it right here so this is the calendar right here you can search for it you can change your dates if you click on meetings right here you can go ahead and click on add meetings and you can add the meetings right here it's a pretty cool setup and then over here is going to be your contacts so either you know the contacts you acquire through leads or you know through customers whatever you want they're going to be available over that they're going to be available over there and here we have the settings so here are the general settings as you can see you can go ahead and configure them however you want the crm settings are going to be over here uh this is the crm here we have recurring revenues leads multi-teams and everything so yeah 
So now that you've gotten a little bit familiar with the layout, let's go ahead and go into the CRM and pop in and start creating an opportunity to start playing along with our pipeline. So to create an opportunity, come over here onto the left hand side, click on new, and here you will be able to go ahead and add opportunity, right? So this is going to be the contact over here, write a few letters to look for a company or you know create a company. And you click on this button, you can go ahead and find the company. So let's say this is a software company. I don't know what name we should use over here, but let's just say it's like a simple company name over here. I'll call it the company. And over here, you can find it, different companies as well through the database that Odo has. So let's say the top of the hill, right? The top of the hill.com. This is the company. And this is the top of the hill. This is their address right here phone numbers and everything website this is going to be a contact over here you can add the image and sales purchase and notes are going to be over there let's go ahead and click on save and add them this is the opportunity over here you can add the email over here and their phone number as well so if you click over here since we already created them and over here you can add the email and then their phone number and then over here is going to be your expected revenue so you can add whatever amount you want so let's say we're expected to receive at least ten thousand dollars and then just simply click on add right so here you go this is an opportunity right here you can drag and drop opportunities to wherever you want depending upon where they're you know at so for example this is a new opportunity you call them up you propose them your proposal and see whether or not they're qualified or whatever right and if they're qualified you can go ahead and move them up and then whenever you take a note or whatever information you get you can add them over here you can add extra information over here as you can see right here then we already have some extra information and right here you will have send message log out activities and once they've done right this is currently one once it's done you can move them over to the next options so let's say it's qualified we call them up we check them out we ask them a few questions and whether or not they were qualified then we transferred them to the qualified section where our sales teams is going to go ahead and contact them they're going to add the proposition they're going to contact them and tell you know book their offer a proposition to see whether or not they're interested and once they've you know gone ahead and well accepted the proposition they can go ahead and click on one right let me just go back so right here is proposition and if they've won we can go ahead and move this over here and boom that's how you do it this is how you go ahead and move it and over here if you want you can add different stages to it so click on that and add a custom stage whatever you want and since this is the view right here of course you can generate leads over here how many leads would you like which companies and their contacts over here you can add different countries to it let's say we want australia right here a state you can pick any state you want but let's say we want the capital and industry let's say we want consumer staples and then over here we'll click on role whether we want seniority role or you know role whatever click on preferred role and let's say we want customer service and over here we have other roles if you want let's go ahead and add the finance and click on generate leads this is going to go ahead and generate some leads for us as you can see it generated some leads right here so bollywood masala right here this is a company probability as you can see there's a 91 percent chance of probability of successing of you know getting a success score over here right here you can see opportunity created by auto lead generator and bollywood masala bollywood masala is an award-winning indian restaurant and it comes within the top 10 restaurants in canberra city by delivering delicious foods you can see right here company type is private sectors are going to be over here employees there are 15 estimated revenue is around 1 million to 10 million per year which is quite a lot estimated revenue is going to be anywhere between 1 million to 10 million per year their email addresses are over here as well so now that you have their leads what you can do is you can go ahead and click on send message right send a message to followers right over here you can log activities over here or you can just simply go ahead and contact them via their email address or their phone number if you have them and if you click on extra information you'll find all of that information right here so as you can see right here is their address country websites it's over here they we don't have their phone number but that's fine so once you've gotten that you should be good to go so this is how you can generate different leads for example if i wanted to create more leads let's say i wanted to create 10 more leads and i'll just choose companies and their contacts right companies and their contacts and i just selected a country let's say we go ahead and search for find the country that you are looking for and once you found it you should be good to go right so well let's go ahead and select australia anyway go ahead and select australia 
and industries let's say we want click on more to see what type of industry we want so we, let's go ahead and select food and beverages right we want five leads right extra contacts per company filter on role or seniority if you click on seniority you're going to find director executive manager and stuff like that if you click on role you'll find ceo communications consulting and everything if you click on view more you will find all the options you need so let's say we want to contact human resources and we also would like to contact their customer service and click on generate leads it's going to go ahead and use the credits to generate the read now right now i don't have any credits because i'm out this was a free plan now if you want to go ahead and purchase some credits click on the buy credits icon and here you can see how much the credits would cost so there's 500 credits and for 100 i don't know what is that 20 cents i think no i don't know what is that euros i believe that's euros but i don't think it would be that expensive so that is euros so it's going to be 100 euros for 500 credits 200 euros for 1000 credits and two thousand euros for ten thousand credits right so that's like 0.20 euros per credit so you can buy it over here right now my account has only 17 credits so you know it is what it is but yeah that's what those are the amount i think i had like two more i think it's one credit per lead i believe so or is it how much because i already had three leads let's say if i wanted one more lead right generate one lead will i be able to generate lead okay i generated one lead let's go ahead and see how much credit i have left over here yeah it's one credit per leads but i was just generating a few opportunities but that's fine i guess so if i click over here you know let's go ahead and generate some more let's see if this works australia industry is going to be foods and beverages right click on generate leads and there we go so we got three more leads all right so you get the gist of it right like you understand what you need to do and then once you've let's say made a sale or a couple of sales right and let's say you lost a few sales by clicking over here on the loss section lost a reason now we didn't have people skills and click on mark as lost there we go then if we come back over here into the crm if we click on the sales section right here you can see my pipeline over here so let's go ahead and open that up and my activity as well then you have reporting so if you can click on reporting you can go ahead and view all the options over there so this is the pipeline over here my pipeline and this is my activity here you will have all the activity currently it looks nothing but you can go ahead and generate whatever you want but yeah and here is going to be your crm if you click on this search bar right here you can go ahead and you know view whatever you want so let's say this is lost if you click on lost only the lost amounts are going to be coming over here if we select ongoing and lost so you can go ahead and basically understand what's happening over here we're filtering out what it is so sales are going to be over here activities are going to be over here configuration is going to have some other configuration settings as well so if you click on settings of course we already went there so let me just go ahead and go to the dashboard actually and see how it looks like so this is how it looks like currently so once we've added some data once we've made some sales we can see right here what how it looks like right so it's pretty cool but yeah it's really simple to use so i hope you guys understand how to use auto crm so now that you understand how to use it and how you can add contacts as well like you know if you wanted to add contacts just simply click on the new button and over here just add in the information like the company name their address their tax id their phone number mobile number whatever it is that you acquired if you wanted to create a specific notes and whatnot just add click over here onto internal notes create a note and over here you can once you've entered the name you can just simply click on opportunities and it'll automatically be shifted over to the opportunity section and it'll be available within the crm or the pipeline so yeah it's pretty cool stuff over here i highly recommend you check it out so now that you know how the crm works let's go ahead and see how much it would actually cost us to go ahead and purchase auto so right here we have three plans right basically we have the standard the free and the custom in the free plan you get for one app only all right unlimited users and auto online in the standard you get all the applications just for seven dollars per user per month so it depends on how many users you have so keep that in mind and you'll get auto online and then we have the custom one where we have all the applications and it's going to cost us ten dollars per user per month we'll get auto online auto sh on premises auto studio multi-company and external apis if you scroll down below we can go ahead and see the standard at the custom plan include all the apps for a single fee so we'll get sales marketing signs websites accounting crm inventory hr projects and point of sales over here 
for a single fee all right keep that in mind now this was the price for yearly if we switch to over to monthly then the prices are going to change so keep that in mind and down below you have some frequently asked questions so you can go ahead and check them out if you want to but yeah so these were all the informations that you needed to know about auto and how you can use it so these were all the informations that you needed to know about auto crm all right let me just go over it real quick one more time so over here you can see these were a few things that I missed initially. So these are basically views. I didn't miss anything, but these are basically views. Here is the Kanban view, right? And here is going to be the list view. So you can see how many companies you've got, the opportunities, their contact, their email, and the salesperson, and whether they're one or not. And, you know, you have their email options and an SMS option right here. If you click on the calendar, you can go ahead and check out the activity and you know whenever the meeting has been scheduled or not you can find them over here and then you have the pivot option right here so if you click on pivot it's going to tell you that this is the total this is the one this is the new so whenever someone something happens you know view it over here and if you click on insert in spreadsheet they'll it'll automatically be taken over to the new option right here and you know you can select a spreadsheet to insert your pivot option but yeah, this is a quick way to find out whether how much, you know, expected revenue you are going to be making. And this is the graph chart. Here you will see you have four counts and here you will see you have count for one. So how many new leads you've gotten and how many you've won. And here you can filter it out. So over here, this is by a bar. If you click on line chat, this is how it would look like. If you click on the pie chart, this is how it would look like. So you can have multiple different options. And right here, this is like stacked option. If we click on the cumulative, this is how it would look like. This is like descending and ascending. So you've got different, you know, variations of it. And this is the map. So over here, you will be able to see where and how in which parts of this map you've actually gone ahead and you know made sales you can see right here this is the contact right here and over here this is also the activity so yeah so i just wanted to quickly go over this part as well because i feel like i should have mentioned it before and this is of course the notification where you'll see all the notifications and messages but yeah so these were all the things that you needed to know about these were all the necessary things that you need to know about auto crm and how you can use it how you can go ahead and create new leads generate new leads you know sort them out how you can create different contacts and how much it would cost so yeah that is it that is how you use auto those were all the things that you needed to know about if you want me to make another video on auto and explaining other softwares as well because this was just the crm and there's like 50 other softwares within auto that we can go over but yeah i guess that's another topic for another day so thank you guys for watching hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did be sure to hit the like button subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications and i will catch you guys in the next video and until then take care and goodbye